Hey folks, so as many of you may know, um, the Panasonic Lumix brand has just released a full frame phase detect autofocus video stills camera hybrid in the S5 II. Now I am filming on the GH6, but my friend in Idaho just bought one of the S5 IIs. And there is something that you need to know about this camera. We may be coming on here and doing an announcement together on this. Um, doing a sort of a compare and contrast between the GH6 and the S5 II. But one of these things that the cameras do, that none of the other cameras in its class do, is a high resolution photography mode. They also have um, high speed frame rates for shooting multiple you know, images at a time where you can switch over to a mechanical shutter. You can use a flash with this the thing that it does in this high resolution mode is in the GH6, it shoots 100 megapixel photos. And in the S5 II, I believe it's 96 megapixels. So I went ahead on there and the S5 II X is coming out. And I was actually on with the Panasonic rep today in the live feed. And I'm gonna want you to check this out. And I'm going to go ahead and play this. I am, I am uh, uh, and, uh, kind of on the same page. I came from the event photography side, but I, I much prefer landscape, astro, cityscape, that kind of stuff, or street photography too. So, uh, Sean says, is the S5 Mark II geared more towards photography than the S5 Mark II X? Um, and this is, this is a great question, right? So we obviously, we released these two cameras, the S5 Mark II and the S5 Mark II X, and they were built on the premise that as photographers and videographers are starting to meld more and more together, we still believe that photographers deserve a choice in the equipment that you are purchasing. Um, for a lot of photographers, there's a lot of options in cameras that you know you may never have a need for. ProRes, all intro recording, raw over HDMI. They may just be things that are of no importance to your work. So that's why the S5 Mark II was created, giving you that now I'm going to go ahead and speak on that for a sec. I'm more of a true filmmaker. And I'm taking these headphones off because I hear it echo back about a second later. But it keeps it from looping back into the stream here. Anyway, I'm more of a pure video shooter. But some people out there are photographers. And they don't need all of those functions. I like to have all the different frame rates and codecs and, and all the little video tools. So the S52X is, that's what he's answering here. The S52X is going to have those little extras. But neither one of those cameras, the S52 or the S52X, is going to be compromising. Um, it's just going to be a few things that you may not need for a few hundred dollars cheaper on the S5 II. But in your, by no means, you still have 6K video at a full frame and the photo and stills capability built into the same camera with most, you know, in the S5 II, 90% of the tools you love. And the S5 II X is just going to be a few hundred dollars more, and it's going to have a few more codecs. For people that are true filmmakers, professional filmmakers, that's what the S5 II X is going to be geared towards. So I'm going to go ahead and switch back over and let him talk. choice, bringing the price down. You're not paying for things that you don't necessarily need in the camera and things that may either be still in development costs, in, um, excuse me, licensing fees, stuff like that. But depending on the type of photographer you are, the S5 Mark II X may actually be the more appealing camera for you. Um, myself, uh, as someone who likes doing street photography and traveling with my cameras, and I don't like to draw attention to myself, I personally, if I were to have to buy these cameras in full transparency, I do not have to buy these cameras because I work for the company, clearly. Um, I would hands down go for the S5 Mark II X myself because I like the blacked out design. 
uh, when we were all talking about the design and the ideas of this camera, ways we can make it look cooler, um, the totally blacked out logos, the you know kind of matte finish on the black dials and stuff like that is very appealing. So if you're like a street photographer and you like kind of keeping yourself low key, you don't like the... Man, that is a slow merge. I was a street photographer for a long time. And I absolutely loved just kind of blending in. I didn't want to be this guy with a big camera and people are like, what are you doing taking pictures? You know, who do you think you are? So anyway, um, it says world news tonight down here. What's going on? Well, for me in the video and camera world, this is what's going on. Everybody seems to be caught up in all the war and everything else. And I just wanted to share a little something that was different for the photography and video community out there. So I'm going to go ahead and take a moment and make an adjustment. Automatically play with transition. I'm going to see if this will work. And I'm going to change this merge function. And you all tell me, what do you think? Oops. You can hear on that microphone, it's like pretty gnarly. All right, let's go ahead and merge this and see if it plays. No. Logos there, or if you're someone who just kind of masks over the logos anyway, um, that was a very common thing that we would do in the DSLR days. Um, the S5 Mark II X may be a, a really solid camera for you to take a look at. You're not losing anything in that camera from the photography side. Uh, versus the S5 Mark II, they are, as photo tools, they are identical between each other. You just get all the extra video features on the X, so kind of keep that in mind there. Uh, let's see here. Go through a couple of... Uh... And so, <clears throat> basically what he's saying is you get a few more video features with the X, but for my buddy out there, it's Tyson with New Line Media. He is getting the S5 II to tomorrow so i'm gonna try and bring him in here on bmx call and put together a little show and see if we can't do some compare and contrast all righty y'all stay cool stay safe and have an amazing day